Hi, welcome back. So we just looked at some of the big, cuddly, fun spiders. Now we're going to look at some of the, what people will say are creepier, smaller, faster spiders. Yeah, I think I just get like a little bit more scared because the small ones, they're just so fast. Some of them are just so fast. Oh yeah, in fact, the one I'm about to show you is really fast. So this one is a pretty common widespread true spider. Um, true this is spider. A, so we call, uh, Things like tarantulas and trapdoor spiders are a primitive branch of spiders. Um, so everything else we call the true spiders. It's kind of a silly term because they're all spiders. So this one here is a Carolina wolf spider, Hogna carolinensis, a uh, very common widespread, also uh, one of our larger wolf spider species. Um, most people see any kind of generic grayish spider with a similar pattern and think, oh, it's a wolf spider. Um, and there's a lot, there's easily a few hundred species out there of spiders that look like wolf spiders that aren't. So it is one family like Cosidae that is the wolf spiders. I'm not sure how many species are in it, but this is your most uh, large and striking one in our country anyway. Yeah. And as you can see, um, he is fast at first, but once he comes down, he's calm. He doesn't want to bite or anything. Yeah, he's a lot less scary when you're holding him somehow. Oh yeah, but he's pretty. Yeah, yep. not as scary. Okay, so what's in this next one? I mean, like, I already know, but for the audience, big reveal. Yep. So this is one of the most feared ones. People often misunderstand the spider a lot. This is our Black Widow. Ooh, I actually really like Black Widows. <laughs> Me too. They're um, our most venomous local arthropod in terms of LD50 of the venom or the potency. But they almost never use it unless it's a very unless they're absolutely threatened and they have no other defense. Yeah, they're pretty docile, right? Oh yeah. So um, people get bitten by these when they put on a glove with one in it or a shoe or they're working in a wood pile and they reach in and hit one where it's trapped and it can't move and its fangs are against the skin. But if you just gently pick them up like this, they just kind of want to move away. So I'd have to do a lot to get her to bite me, like hold her down against my skin. Yeah, it's like you have to like basically press on them. Yeah, I still wouldn't recommend this though. Um, best to avoid bites from these. They are nasty. They hurt really bad. They cause muscle cramping, spasms, fever, nausea. And, um, well, now she's calmed down. They'll often just kind of pull the legs in. And the hourglass shape is on the underside. Um, let's see, can I get her? I don't want to grab her. She's against my skin. Yeah, let's not. Let's not yeah. grab her. But um, aside from black widows, the only other really venomous spider in the U.S. is the brown recluse. Um, that one's also not too venomous. Um, we've all seen the pictures of the gnarled, gangrenous hand from a brown recluse bite. Um, that's a very, very, very rare situation. Most bites from brown recluses are, you know, they do create a nasty ulcer that takes a while to heal. It's a strong cytotoxin, but most cases uh, you're going to be fine. In fact, uh, there's only one confirmed death from brown recluse bite, and to my knowledge, there's not any confirmed black widow deaths known. Wow. Okay, well, we have one more, the fastest, the fastest of the oh, fast. This one we're not going to touch, but uh, I thought this would be cool to show. You can see he has two previous molts in there that he's sitting next to. And this is a tropical huntsman spider, and this is one of the ones we breed here. They're very prolific breeders. Um, We'll just do that for now, because if I even breathe on him, he will dart. He is like the Flash. He will disappear, and we will never see him again. We don't want that. But they are very pretty. <laughs> so cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for teaching me about spiders. I definitely, for some reason, was really scared of this wolf spider at the beginning. But after seeing you handle him, I'm like, I feel a lot better about, yeah. about being close to him with the that's, lid off. <laughs> yeah, that's always the message here. None of the arthropods are really that scary once you get to know them. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Join thank us you. next week as we discover and learn more about new bugs. Mm -hmm.